These pencil fish and January touchers were filmed at Agwaboa by Jackie Anderson. I want you to notice this group of pencil fish that seems suspended in the water here in the shallows. There were two species at this site, Nanostomus unifasciatus and Equus. There was also a shoal of January tetras here with the black spot, Hemigramus hyannuary, a cool tetra that's only occasionally seen in the aquarium hobby. These wider-bodied fish that kind of zip by but don't linger are Hyphosobricon coplandi, another cool fish that you can find if you really look for them. What I want you to notice about the pencil fish is that these two species are readily identifiable by their somewhat diagonal swimming orientation. They also seem to move through the water without moving in an obvious way. They sort of look like they're floating by, suspended in the water column. When they're doing this, they really blend in well with branches, twigs, and plant debris, and are very well camouflaged in this type of habitat. The gentle capture of many species of home aquarium fish from habitat like this throughout the Rio Negro region drives conservation by providing sustainable livelihoods to rural families. This prevents the incursion of environmentally destructive industries that are rampant in other parts of the Amazon. This also creates a culture of stewardship because the economy is linked to the success of the fishery, and the fishery needs a clean, healthy ecosystem to thrive. You'll notice the water here is not black water like some of the other places we've shown you, and the pH is a little higher here than in those black water habitats, although it's still quite low for what most aquarium keepers are used to. The grasses that you see here are terrestrial plants that have been overtaken by rising water levels, and although there's normally submerged aquatic vegetation at this site, there's none this year since this site dried up almost completely during the lowest of the low water season.